is going on. Down to the video coming at you real quick. This is the uh, Multiman 4.80.00 uh, stealth installation. Uh, so we're going to be installing the base Multiman uh, for 4.80 as well as the stealth version of Multiman, uh, the uh, patch files for uh, 4.80 as well. So first thing is first, the file I'm going to have you download is right here, this Multiman version 04.80.00 stealth uh, 2016. Um, yada yada yada. Once you've downloaded this file, what you're going to do is you're going to extract it. If you have a program called WinRAR or uh, some kind of extraction program, you just uh, use that to uh, extract. Or if you have 7-zip, that'll work too because we are dealing with a zip file right here. As you can see, .zip. Uh, and you're going to be looking at the Multiman. This is the uh, package file right here. And we have a README text for any other further questions you can regard to that, but this is going to be pretty straightforward. And a report data dot txt, which is a text file. That, as you can see, it's uh, it's roughly about 34 megabytes, or well, we'll say 35 megabytes. Uh, and the installation of Multiman package is about 37. So what you're going to do? Get a thumb drive, anything that's over two megabytes, precise to uh, say that that will work. Also, your custom firmware is going to have a section on it that says install package files. If you do not have this install package files, <clears throat> uh, what you're going to have to do is downgrade your custom firmware. Um, unfortunately, it's a little bit of a hassle, but with CEX-based custom firmwares, you can freely downgrade and upgrade to any custom firmware. As long as it's CEX-based, uh, you'll have to downgrade so that you can access your multi-man and then uh, run this update file. For your multi-man as well uh, through multi-man and I'll be going through that as well when we get to the PlayStation 3 so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna simply take this multi-man uh, 4.80 base and we're gonna copy that to my flash drive so we'll go ahead and copy that right here allow that to copy over and then the next thing that we're gonna be doing is copying that report data text file over to the root of the memory stick so we're going to take that and copy that over as well. So let's let that copy over. Now the standard step uh, basically to do this as is uh, you're going to be renaming this uh, right real quick. Uh, you can leave it as report data. It doesn't really matter if you open it up. Uh, it's not going to show anything except this crazy ass code. Uh, that's going to be the coding that we're going to be using to make Multiman Stealth version. Uh, but you can just have it report data and then dot sh or self so self so you have report data dot self and all you have to do is make sure it's labeled that you can leave it as report data you can call it kakapupu schnicker fresh whatever you want to call it it'll work so that's that so once you have this all copied over let's go to the ps3 and uh i'll show you what we have to do from there okay so here we are at the ps3 Basically what I'm going to just show real quick is if we scroll down here, you'll see I got my backup managers and everything. Uh, this is my multi-man right here, <clears throat> and you'll see it'll say CM, that's what we're looking for. Um, so basically what you're going to do is install package files right here. Uh, if you don't have that, what you're going to do is you're going to downgrade your firmware, and once I get inside multi-man to do the next step, I'll show you what you're going to want to do. So. First things first, go to install package files and you're going to see this multi-man uh, 4.80 base, right? So you're going to hit X on that and uh, the same versions are already installed. Uh, this is going to ask you the installation and it'll automatically start the installation. I've already done that. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to go inside this new multi-man. If you haven't been banned from PlayStation Network, please disconnect your internet before you do this and install the stealth version so you don't mess up anything with your uh, PlayStation Send enabled environment if you have one. So we're going to open up our multi saying before if you 
don't have install package files on the XNB, which with all the new custom firmwares you usually do, so you don't have to worry about that too much. Uh, but just in case you don't, open up your multi man, bam, it's right there. Install package files, you just select that and it'll pull it up off the root of your memory stick. Now, to install the stealth version, after you've renamed uh, everything, uh, you'll you're gonna go into your uh, here, I'll show you real quick, just as on us PS3 root, and what you're gonna do is you're going to select your dev USB 0, 0, 0 which will be your uh, USB port. You can really see that, but that's what it looks like right there. So you just double click on that with your X, and you're gonna see the report self. So that's pretty much that, and then once it's done installing, it's uh, going to go right back to the XMB and you'll be running your Stealth Man version 4.80. So that's that. So that's how you do that. And then you have installation and you can do all the fun stuff that Multiman used to do uh, with your new custom firmware. So yeah, that's it. So I'll have the comment, um, comments, I'll have the links down below for you guys to download, as well as uh, the step-by-step uh, -step procedure. And that's pretty much it. So rate, comment, subscribe. Yes, again, I'm back. And also, uh, it's 4.80, so I'm assuming there's a 4.80 custom firmware somewhere, either a DEX version or a CEX version. And I will find it, and I will make a video on it. Because right now I'm running 476, so now I'm intrigued to find out if it actually exists or not.